Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about it then. The uh, the Black Star recording, because I don't know how much I've talked oh. to you about that, and and if you were like, I was curious how that studio session went and what what that was like for you. If that was different than uh, different sessions with her, or what it was like to work with David Bowie, or if he was actually there, or how. Yeah, that... no, he. I, I won't, I'll make it relatively short. Oh, but take your time. But he used to come. He was a fan of Maria and her music, and he would come hear us play. Yeah, and you know. Even when I knew, somebody would say, "Oh, David Bowie's here," and he was like a master, you'd never see him. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Even when we played at the uh, Birdland, and I knew he was there, and I saw a limo out front, and I knew it was his, and I just wanted to say hello or whatever. And I turned my back, talking to Kimbrough, yeah. and all of a sudden the limo was gone, and I was like, "How did he get <laughs> out and disappear?" You know. But um, so. He wanted to do something with Maria. Yeah. So he had a, an idea, a sketch of a tune. And then she basically arranged it for the band. And we had a few workshops with him at a studio called Euphoria mm. in Manhattan, in the in Midtown area. In the and 30s, there, right? It's in the 27th, yeah, okay. I think. Yep. Some, 29th, something like that. So in that scenario, usually I would be at our apartment and just walk a few blocks to that thing. But Marianne and I were up here and it's like we had to drive to what you've done a million times, uh, <clears throat> like rush hour to get to the studio. And I'm driving, we hit traffic, of course, and I'm freaking. It's like you we know, were doing this rehearsal with David Bowie and uh, I'm kind of late. So <laughs> Marianne drops me, <clears throat> excuse me, and I see this big white stretch limo. And I'm like, well, I guess Bowie is here. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's a really kind of a funky, I don't know if you've been in that yeah. stuff, but it's a funky little hallway and then an elevator. An elevator, yeah. I remember the elevator. And it's like, I, I forget which one. But yes, I, I'm pretty sure I've been there, yeah. And so I look in and there's Bowie. And <laughs> it's like something out of, not spinal tap, but something. He's got a young lady who's his assistant with a clipboard. Yep. And he clearly is saying, oh, go let Jay in. Because I could read his lips, you know. And I'm like, he knows my name. So <laughs> I go in. He's like, hey, Jay, how are you? And I, I couldn't believe how friendly he was and down to earth. We go up. We do the rehearsal. And, and everything was cool. But I, he must, she must have had our names. Because it wasn't the whole band; it was me and Frank Kimbrough and mm -hmm. Ben Monder playing guitar, yeah. <clears throat> and Donnie McCaslin mm -hmm. and Ryan Keberly, trombone player. Okay, and they we were kind of representing the band, and um, and, and uh, Mark Giuliana. Mark Giuliana, sure, was playing drums. Clarence was not available or something, and so we workshopped it a few times, and then we just went into the studio, and. Um, he was totally chill about the whole thing. Mm. He even made little references of, you know, Maria was kind of freaking because she wanted him to be happy. And like any of us, she was kind of, oh, does this suck? Is it great? Well, I don't know. You know, somebody tell me. Yeah, yeah. And the number, it's, it's going to be fine. And it's actually great. I don't know if you heard sure. it. Sure. Listen uh, to it yesterday. Yeah, it's a, it's a great it's amazing. tune. And I think, <clears throat> I think his vocal was like this, what he sang just while we thought we thought we were kind of running through the tune or whatever, and um, it took an hour. And um, that's an hour. That's yeah, it. Yeah, and she was freaked about it, and I, she still uses this quote. She was kind of freaking out, and he said to her, "Maria, it's just music. Nobody dies." <laughs> oh no, he said, uh, <laughs> if it's, "It's not like a pr plane crash. We all walk away." <laughs> you know, he just said something great that diffused the whole yeah. thing. You know. Nobody and, dies uh, works too. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so that was really fun. It was a, a very brief thing. It's not like we took the act on the road or anything, but uh, it was an honor to play with him. That's a pretty remarkable experience. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, uh, that's cool. So you had met him prior to that, or that he would duck out. I every, never met him. You never met I him. I met him wow. on that elevator ride. And, uh, you know, like I said, he used my name several times. And uh, I'm sure she had it on that clipboard. Because I don't think he memorized the name of everybody. But whatever it was. Do that, yeah. Not me. I'm so bad. <laughs> I knew it. 
<laughs> I know it made me feel really even more like being there. Of course, I wanted yeah. to be there anyway. Yeah, but it just it, yeah. it was really nice. Yeah. So pretty. I, so I learned something from that. To go back yeah. to your question. To be nice to people for one, and that, that or you try to remember their names. You know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> <Brad>? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm the worst with that stuff, oh, man. I'm awful. I misspelled your name the other day accidentally, and you know it just came up bra, and I was like, wow, I never knew the word bra was in your name. I just never thought about it. Strange segue. I apologize. It is a sexy name. Thank <laughs> it you, is Matt. A sexy name. Thank you. <laughs> well, you are very supportive. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, amazing. I, I, uh, I was curious about, uh, so witty. <laughs> I, was cu- I was curious about the Bowie session. Yeah. Um, and I, and is just speaking of all of the, is that, that did, did that garner? Uh, I think that did yeah, win a Grammy. Yeah, I thought won a couple Grammys yeah. for ensemble for and him and something. 